Acolyte Episode 5. I'm not going to waste any of your guys' time. I'm going to get right into my thoughts and review on the fifth episode of The Acolyte. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet as well, as it seemed like last week's video review on Episode 4 went really well. Me just getting straight to my thoughts, what I did like, didn't like. And this is another one of those kind of middle of season episodes where not a ton happens, but enough happens to where we need to talk about a couple certain things. So let's get right into that. First, I'm going to start with just my overall blanket statement. Number one, I thought this was a really good episode. Not great, but definitely a step up from last week's where we didn't really see that much happen. If you don't remember, last week we kind of got this just walk through the forest, next place to next place, and then concluded on the cliffhanger of here's the Sith, which we now know calls itself a Sith. This week, though, we finally got that payoff. We saw the lightsaber duels between the Sith and our group of Jedi characters. We got the whole thing going down in this forest location, which I'm a little upset they didn't really change location all that much this episode. They went to a couple different areas of the forest, but still, this is two episodes now where we're kind of confined to this forest area, and again, is making me kind of wonder where this giant budget went. But like I said, overall, it was a good episode, very enjoyable episode. I'm going to get into what I liked about it. One is obviously the lightsaber fights. The, li the lightsaber fights were nowhere near perfect or off the charts, but they were pretty dang close. I will have to say, this is probably one of the best lightsaber sequences we've seen in recent Star Wars since Disney took over. I think the best prior to this was in the Ahsoka show. Again, nothing great, but also way better than what we had been getting, you know, the baseball bat swinging, people compare it to of the sequel trilogy. This actually felt like it had some decent choreography behind it. A lot of lightsaber spins, a lot of evasive maneuvers, multiple people jumping into these lightsaber battles, a lot of clashes, a lot of cool moves, Jedi flying through the air. That's something we haven't seen in a while, and this is a time period where the Jedi would be doing moves like this and battling like this, so I'm glad we got to see a little bit of that. Now, one thing I am going to say about these lightsaber battles, I really hope this is not the battle that Leslie Hedlund said was going to rival the Phantom Menace Duel of Fates battle, because while it is great, it's very cool, we even got a little bit of a nod to the Phantom Menace when there was a blue lightsaber and a green lightsaber at the same time going up against this Sith. I thought that was cool, but this gets nowhere close to that very iconic battle. Was it good? Great co choreography? Better than we've had? Yes, of course, but I do not think this rivals the Phantom Menace. I'm sure we're going to get another lightsaber duel, and maybe that's the one she's referencing, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But so far, this was not it. The second and last main big thing that I really liked about this episode is that Jedi died. Yes, this whole thing, this whole series has been talked about as it's impossible, everybody who sees a red lightsaber needs to die, or, you know, it'll be severely cannon-breaking. Well, for the most part, outside of Soul and the twins, this did happen, and we saw this happen in very brutal ways. A beheading, of course, off-camera, unfortunately. The new, never-before-seen lightsaber that split into two somewhat of, like, dagger sabers, and he right into Jackie, three shots to the chest. A lot of lightsabers through chests, even force-pulling one towards the lightsaber and skewering the Jedi, which I thought was great. I loved how they went more brutal with this. We heard that this was going to be a darker series, and we didn't really see it until now, and I really enjoyed the deaths. And of course, just the Jedi dying, because they should not know about this at all. And I'm glad that this was addressed in a way, even straight up said, by the Sith. Again, the death's very cool, very gruesome. Honestly, we needed a splash of that in Star Wars. And as far as that new lightsaber, I did make a video about that when Leslie Headland said there was going to be a never-before-seen lightsaber in the series, and that the props department basically shut her down until she kind of got her way. I assume this is the lightsaber in question, because I don't believe we've seen a lightsaber that kind of splits into two, as we saw very briefly, and then, of course, killing Jackie with it. I thought it was interesting. I didn't think it was anything too crazy. I did kind of, you know get put it back when I saw it because I thought it was like, oh, okay, that's new, interesting, cool. I wish we would have seen just a little bit more of it though. Now let's get into what I really didn't like about this episode, and I think you can probably guess what the main thing is, the villain reveal. We knew this was coming. I really was hoping it wasn't going to turn out this way, but it did. I don't even know the guy's name, but 
May's friend turns out to be the Sith under the helmet, which like is cool. He seems like kind of a dark, edgy guy who doesn't really believe in the Jedi way and of course would go around killing Jedi. But establishing him already as this kind of dorky friend of May's that kind of just follows her around and is part of her dirty work really dampened this reveal for me. If we didn't know him again as this kind of derpy character before he was revealed as the Sith, I wouldn't have had an issue with it. I would have been like, oh, he looks like a dirty, edgy guy or whatever, you know, but now he has been established as this kind of just lame side character friend of May's and he's the Sith. I mean, sure, I guess they're really gonna have to turn his character around and do something a little more in depth with him, show him in his element, how he became, how he is. I need to see that to kind of have that redemption, but so far I really do not like that reveal. He's the Sith, cool, we just gotta go along with it. But yeah, I hope they take his character in a different direction and kind of show us more about him so we understand why he is the Sith and why should we fear him and why he is the way he is. Another thing I didn't really like was the beginning of the episode where a lot of the fighting was off screen. That was not a good way to start the episode. Obviously, we ended up seeing a couple of duels, very well put together duels, but my first initial reaction was, wow, is this really all gonna take place off screen? Which a good majority of it didn't, but the beginning, not seeing them get back up off their feet after the force push, we didn't really get to see the initial blows by the Sith and the Jedi, which was a little disheartening, but it ended up, you know, coming back around and not being all off camera, but that was kind of a rough way to start the episode. Also, another thing I didn't really care for was kind of the comical aspect of putting the light on the Sith's back and having him struggle to get it off after he just, you know, slaughtered a bunch of Jedi. He can't, you know, take a saber or reach behind him and get this light droid off, which will inevitably bring these kind of like gooey moth things and carry him away. I thought that was pretty lame. I mean, eventually it did reveal that he, over the course of a whole night, fought them off and got his way back down to the ground, but I thought it was very comical how he couldn't get that off and then continued to get swept away by them. Again, he's supposed to be this Sith. He just killed a bunch of Jedis, but he can't get control of these moths and they carry him away in a very comical fashion. Just some small gripes, but nonetheless, uh, kind of dampened the episode for me. But yeah, that is kind of just the main bullet points of what I did and didn't like about episode five. I thought it was definitely one of the stronger ones, probably tied for second or third place behind episode one still. Overall, a good episode. I really enjoyed the lightsaber fights. I enjoyed the darkness and gruesomeness of the duels and the deaths of the Jedi. I'm glad that they're killing Jedi because again, they cannot all survive. None of them can survive. It was hard to see some of them go as I did grow kind of an attachment to some, but I knew that they were not going to last until the end of the series, unfortunately. But yeah, if I was to give this episode a rating out of 10, I would probably give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. I really don't know where the rest of this show is going to go. We have three more episodes left to kind of wrap this story up, and there's a lot of loose ends. There's more Jedi that need to die. The Sith probably needs to die or go into hiding somewhere. The Jedi need to be alarmed about this. I don't know where it's going to go or if it's really going to answer any questions, but We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, that is all I have for my review of the Acolyte episode 5. I'm going to see you guys next week at the same time for the episode 6 review. But for right now, I want to see what you have to say about this episode down in the comments below. Did you like it? Why or why not? And while you're at it, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.